Hey guys, it's editors Gregory and Ashley. We're here at the Mulberry Project in New York City talking about one of the most hot debated topics right now, a topic that I actually love, and it's Caitlyn Jenner. All hail Queen Caitlyn. Yeah. Uh, we have been obviously on the Bruce Jenner transition case for a while, wanting to know like, when is it gonna happen? What is she gonna look like? What is she gonna act like? What is her name gonna be? There were those really weird, like, is it Bridget? Is it Belinda? Will there it was start like, with a K? Will it start with a K, exactly. Um, and how, when will it be? Will it be in two years? Will it right. be, and all of a sudden, like, in Her Majesty's form, came out in Vanity Fair with Annie Leibovitz. Damn. And just put it all out there. Yeah. And not only in a beautiful gown, but in lingerie. Uh, she slayed it. I Amazing, mean, right? I, died when I saw the cover. I mean, I saw it, I immediately sent it to like 50 people on my contact list. No one responded until I said- I was on an airplane yeah, and I got it. This was this was Bruce Jenner. And then I get flooded back with responses like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Is that Jessica Lange? What's going on? Chris Jenner is jealous. It's it looks just, so much like Jessica Lange, yeah, right? It, it's um, insane. But you know what? It's incredible. I think it's awesome. I think this is earth shifting for so many people. For sure. And I'm just a huge supporter of Caitlyn Jenner. She looks beautiful and good. I know, think a lot of people like to pretend that like, oh, I love, I'm a huge supporter of the trans community because I watch Orange is New Black and I like Liver and Cox, but no one really knew who Liver and Cox was until right. she was the woman she is now. Yeah. I think this is one of the first examples that you're really seeing where you really knew and identified and right. felt like you knew the person they were before. Right. I mean, and you really have to shift the perspective yes to a new person. This um, was an Olympian, and we watched him be an Olympian, a strong masculine person, mm -hmm. and now he's shifted to be this new person and forcing people to accept this and having this be in front of most people's faces who right. never would understand what transgendered is, I think is an awesome thing. And I think right. it really will shift perspectives throughout the world. Yeah. What's really interesting about the name Caitlyn is it could easily have been spelled with a K. Mm -hmm. And I think when Bruce chose the name, he was very, specific on not wanting to lump himself in with Kardashians. Right. And it's interesting because his first wife is Christy with a C. His daughter, his oldest daughter, is Cassandra with a C. So I think when he decided to become Caitlyn, he wanted to kind of embody that family. Yes. And um, you know, from, move away yeah. from kind of the circus of Kardashians. Kardashians. And he's doing something for himself right now. And I think it's incredible and awesome and something to hide inside for so long to be able to be who you want to be and put it on the cover of Vanity Fair. I mean, you're there in a champagne colored corset. Everyone's looking at you and it's just awesome. It is an also like, not only is it an amazing photo shoot for her, Caitlyn, but it is an amazing photo shoot overall for Annie Leibovitz. Like the photo of Caitlyn in the Porsche with the like l tiny little waist and the red dress and the sunglasses, honey, yeah. work it. <laughs> it is amazing. Yeah. Did you hear about how Rob Kardashian found out about this cover? No. So this was probably the best story I heard is that Kim Kardashian, obviously Rob is a little removed from the family these days, um, but uh, Kim Kardashian said that she texted her entire family the photo of Bruce as Caitlyn on the cover. And Rob responds, who is this woman and why do I care? That's basically what everyone's friends to me when I texted the image <laughs> to them. <laughs> and, Kate, and Kim goes, no, that's Bruce, that's Caitlyn. Right. And when Rob realized that, apparently he was like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. And this outpouring of love came and yeah. he called Caitlyn. And um, I think it's just, I think it's a really cool it's statement to Bruce because if your own step kid can't recognize you as your new person, that shows what a new person you yes. are. And he um, said he's not doing this for the fame, he's not doing this for anything else, but to be true to himself. Mm -hmm. And he said when the Vanity Fair cover comes out, he's free, Right. and I think that's awesome. Now we're gonna get our first glimpse of Caitlyn on the red carpet in July. Um, she's gonna walk the red carpet because she's gonna be honored with the Arthur Ashe um, Courage Award at the ESPYs this year. Yeah. Um, what she's gonna wear, I can't imagine. How many designers she's do you think good. are like falling at her uh, feet everyone. to like dress her? Uh, she's amazing, and I think everyone's trying to. She is the it girl of the moment. She's the it girl. I'm sorry, Kim. I know you're pregnant for the second time, but nobody cares. Nobody it's cares. all about. It's all about Kate. The Kardashians era is over, and it's all about the Jenners it's now. All about the Jenners, yeah. Um, so it was a really exciting week. Um, I definitely, we're gonna keep up with the Jenner from now on. <laughs> um, thanks for watching this week. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay on top of all the other fashion and entertainment news.